okay well so uh, today uh, we will start uh, the fifth unit and uh, the first topic of the fifth unit is basically the optical fiber basically this uh, unit is divided into two parts first is uh, the optical fiber or it is known as it is also known as fiber optics and the second part is lasers so i am just quickly moving uh, to the syllabus of this unit so the, the part a basically which we will discuss in this uh, lecture that is the fiber optics and fiber optics uh, consist the following topics which is given here and the second part is the laser so which will be dis uh, discussed la uh, later now i am quickly moving to the first topic that is the introduction uh, to the fiber optics so basically what is the need of fiber optics फाइबर ऑप्टिक्स की नीड क्या है क्यों इसकी जरूरत पड़ी क्या इसका इंट्रोडक्शन है बेसिकली इन द बिगिनिंग द लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस इज कम्युनिकेशन द कॉपर वायर इज कॉपर वायर कॉपर वायर्स वर यूज्ड बट देयर आर देयर आर वेरियस काइंड ऑफ लॉसेस बिकॉज द सिग्नल इज ट्रैवलिंग फॉर अ लॉन्गर डिस्टेंस तो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट देयर सिग्नल इज अटेनुएटेड सो टू ओवरकम दिस प्रॉब्लम one uh, the op fiber or uh, the optical fiber of the fiber optics based communication is very very important so the first point uh, I, I as i told you uh, to, to transfer the signal over the longer distances or because uh, using the fiber optic signal can transmit it from one place to the other place thousands of kilometer uh, with a very high speed so uh, and the loss uh, in, in case of fiber optics is very very less and uh, you can uh, see that there are uh, the bundles of fibers can be used to transmit the information because light is involved here so the light is transmitted through the fiber so the signal is traveling with the traveling is travel with the speed of light so the signal can travel for a longer and longer distances and uh, i already told you the the copper wire is replaced in the recent era the copper wire is replaced with the uh, op optical fiber communication or optical fiber transmission systems because to uh, make the efficient uh, trans uh, efficient communication or efficient transmission system so basically this uh, optical fiber or fiber optics is deals with the uh, communication by using the optical fiber so now i am just uh, giving uh, an important picture Uh, okay what is the evolution of the optical fiber so in the beginning it was uh, started in 1880 it was uh, discovered or manufactured by alexander graham bell and it was the patent is filed in 1930 and uh, after the invention of laser the first laser was used in 1960 that was ruby laser after the invention of laser because uh, to transfer uh, the information through the fiber for a longer distance we need a, we need an intense source so uh, the laser uh, <coughs> when the uh, when the laser was uh, in, uh, invented or um, when the laser was manufactured and uh, due to uh, the manufacturing of laser or uh, laser or, or you can say discovery of laser the the fiber optics uh, basically uh, the fiber optics is revolutionized there there was a revolution in the branch of uh, fiber optics due to the discovery of laser so in the recent era as you know the uh, internet cables and uh, some uh, tv channels and tech and etc satellite communication all may, there are many things which are depend upon the fiber optics communication because recent uh, communication system is basically depend upon the fiber optics communication okay so now i am just quickly giving an overview of uh, the optical fiber what is optical fiber basically this kind of question can be in your examination also so optical fiber is uh, optical fiber looks like as i as i i am just showing in this picture if you see so now i am just take the uh, cross sectional view of this uh, thin hair like structure so you will see this kind of structure when you will see you cannot see this these kind of things by using um, the and and take dye so this can be seen by microscope and other thing so basically it consists three things first is a core and it is surrounded by uh, the another uh, <coughs> the core is surrounded by another uh, uh, layer which is known as a cladding and cladding uh, core and cladding is covered by an uh, 
uh, coating basically this coating is sometimes known as jacket or sometimes known as covering to prevent the fiber from the uh, corrosion or their kind of some uh, outer effects so uh, basically the diameter of the core and cladding is and coating is given here so it's is the order of micrometer so we will not see by your eyes so uh, basically now what uh, is the principle on which the light is propagated through the fiber as you know what is uh, the phenomena of total internal reflection when the light is uh, when the light is incident at an angle and uh, this angle is basically less than uh, the critical angle so light will refract from one medium to other medium if uh, the uh, angle of incidence is equal to the critical angle so, and the critical angle is uh, I, I will define later okay, what is critical angle so the light is uh, propagated at 90 degree as you can see in this figure now light is propagated at 90 degree if this angle of incidence is uh, greater than critical angle then the light will reflect to the same medium so this case is known as the case of uh, total internal reflection and this or the principle of the optical fiber is based on the total internal reflection Be because the light is propagated through this core basically uh, uh, it is not going out from this core to the cladding it is total internally reflected inside the core and propagated throughout the fiber it is just because of the total internal reflection so you can see in this picture okay, how the light is propagated through the fiber you can see the light if the light uh, light is coming in this way at the critical angle so it will go like this if it will go in this way so it will go like this in the second case if it is acceptance cone acceptance cone is the region in which the angle is always uh, all uh, the angle of incidence is always greater than critical angle so the light will couple to the fiber and propagate it throughout the fiber so uh, the acceptance angle can be defined as uh, the maximum angle at which the light can couple uh, through the fiber under acceptance cone or at the acceptance region is basically defined as the uh, de defined in the region or the cone in which light can couple to the fiber and uh, one important point is what is critical angle critical angle is the maximum angle beyond which the light can couple to the fiber so that is uh, the basic principle of the optical fiber and how the light is propagated that is the light propagation mechanism light coupling mechanism and what is optical fiber so there kind of some kind of question can be answered easily you can understand the things from here easily okay now so i am just moving how the uh, how the communication is possible by using an optical fiber i am just giving you a, a simple picture by which you can understand how the communication is possible by using uh, the optical fiber basically the signal is coming from a transmitter and it will uh, through the uh, it will couple to the fiber and it will reach to the re it will receive at the receiver end so that is uh, the, in the first picture you can see a block diagram which interprets how the communication is possible when uh, the signal is transmitted from the uh, signal is transmitted from transmitter to receiver end so there are a few things uh, or you can see in this block diagram that, that this is the input end this is known as a transmitter end whatever you want to transmit it from or you can say that is the input end so the the signal is coming in the analog form and this signal is converted into the electrical signal and by using this circuit and this electrical signal is again by with the help of transmitter converted into optical signal and coupled to the fiber and this uh, optical signal is coupled to the fiber and reaches to the other end of the fiber where a light detector is used this light detector amplify the signal again restore the signal in the same form and convert it into electrical signal and again basically th this is known as the receiver this is the work of receiver transmitter convert this electrical signal into optical signal here this receiver convert this optical signal again into electrical signal and this electrical signal again converted into analog signal or it will receive at the receiver end so that is uh, the propagation signal propagation mechanism in the optical fiber so this is a little bit introduction about uh, the optical fiber coming what is optical fiber what is fiber optic and what is optical fiber communication okay now uh, 
the very important question from this unit that is the classification of you know, there are various kind of classification of for optical fiber so this question is very important for your examination or sometimes it will be in your, definitely uh, in the 10 marks this question can be in your examination so uh, this block diagram is giving a clear picture of the uh, classification of the optical fiber uh, based on the basically there are three broad classification of the optical fiber first is uh, the based on the material other is based on the modes and other is the based on the refractive index profile because refractive index profile is very important in this so we will see how it varies so uh, based on the material there are two class glass and plastic and based on the mode single mode fiber and the multi mode fiber and based on the refractive index uh, again two types a sub index fiber and a graded index fiber this grading index fiber is also known as grin in uh, uh, grin index g r i n grin index fiber also and again the step index fiber is divided into two parts first is step index single mode fiber and other is the step index multi mode fiber graded index fiber again having uh, ha having a type that is graded index multi mode fiber so in case of graded index uh, graded index fiber single mode uh, graded index fiber is not possible so here we will see uh, this classification broadly one by one the based on the material basically based on the materials is very important so first is the glass fiber is a glass fiber as its name indicate it is made up of glass so this uh, here uh, i am just giving you can if you are able to remember so then you can remember it uh, this is uh, this picture is uh, this two points is giving is a combination of uh, core and cladding which can be used in in the case of glass fiber and the second is the plastic fiber as its name indicates it is made up of plastics so the, uh, here also the com uh, combination is also given these name are uh, taking from the chemistry the methyl methacrylate polymethyl methacrylate and uh, copolymer so these are the combination if you uh, if you ha if you are able to remember it then you can remember otherwise there is no issue you can write it the glass fiber is made up of uh, the glass and the plastic fiber is made up of plastics so now next uh, classification is basically based on the mode the more end up uh, <coughs> based on the mode first is a single mode optical fiber in the single mode optical fiber and the diameter of the core is uh, the around 5 micrometer and the diameter of the cladding is 70 micrometers so there is a huge difference between the diameter of core and cladding and the refractive index of uh, cladding is uh, more than uh, the, the refractive index of the core is more than the refractive index of the cladding there is some difference between these two and how as its name indicate only a single mode is propagated through the fiber if the light is coupled you can see in the in this uh, fiber only a single mode is propagated through this fiber so what are the characteristics of this fiber is uh, this fiber is uh, basically the laser is used to couple the light through the fiber and the fabrication of this fiber because its dimension is very very small uh, is very very less or you can say very very small so uh, the it is this fabrication is very costly and difficult and uh, it can uh, uh, these fibers are supported for a long distance communication these kind of fibers are supported to the long distance communication second is the multi mode optical fiber as its name indicated in the multi mode fiber the you can see the cross sectional view of core and cladding and this is uh, here this is basically uh, the refractive index profile this is the refractive index of air this is the refractive index of little bit higher cladding and this is the refractive index of core so the refractive index of core is higher you uh, basically this uh, this step by uh, <coughs> uh, profile is indicate the refractive index profile okay, how the refractive index is varies from core cladding and outer surface here you can see that the, the difference between the core and clade diameter of the core and cladding is not too much large and a multi mode can propagate it as its name indicate and these are the characteristics you can see the characteristics here uh, in place of laser diode led is used to transmit it the multi mode through because a laser having a single wavelength so single uh, <coughs> so uh, the single mode can propagate but uh, when you are transmitting the uh, multi mode multi you need some multi multi you are transferring the multiple information so you need some multi modes and different different wavelengths so led is used to transmit it the information these 
these kind of fiber are not useful for the long distance communication because the, the, the signal is attenuated so the information will be lost we will see how the information is lost fabrication is not too costly and the propagation is easy because uh, the, the fabrication is easy so propagation is also easy because the width of this fiber is large in compared to the single wall fiber next is the refractive index based uh, classification right. and there are two types as i told you in the beginning step index optical fiber and a graded index in the step index optical fiber what is uh, the mean of this kind of fiber basically the step index of in in case of if step index optical fiber the refractive index of uh, uh, this kind of uh, optical fiber is varies in steps like this sharp steps the refractive index is varies in uh, the step by the step profile you can see here the refractive index varies like this like this these are the steps which you which is so which, which are showing here so this kind of uh, for <coughs> step index uh, fiber as known as uh, the in which the uh, refractive index varies step by step so in which there are uh, there are two types first is the step index uh, multi mode fiber and step index single mode fiber so in the single mode fiber only single mode can propagate and in the multi mode fiber in the multi mode can propagate and these are the dimension is giving to you so you can remember i memorize or you can make these kind of figure in your examination then you will get full marks now i am just uh, giving uh, the disadvantage or advantages of single uh, <coughs> step index multi mode fiber uh, the step index multi fiber easy to manufacture cheaper than other type having longer life lower bandwidth high disp high dispersion we will see these kind of thing these are the some advantage or disadvantage of these kind of fibers now next is the grow, uh, graded index optical fiber in the graded index optical fiber basically here you, you have already seen the, the profile of the core here core the refractive index of the core is not uniform not in a sharp steps it it varies non uniformly basically it decreases towards the center when you uh, <coughs> it decreases from the center towards the cladding core center if you go from uh, this center of this core here then it will be decreased or you can go if you will go here then it is decreases so now where uh, there are some advantages also uh, the profile of uh, the light which is propagated uh, not in the sharp step it propagated in uh, this way because the refractive index is varies so the light is not varying in a uniform like this it varies like this so you can see this profile here so there are some advantages of uh, these kind of fibers advantage because dispersion is low bandwidth is greater than the step index easy to couple light is e can easily couple but expensive and difficult to manufacture this is uh, a big disadvantage of uh, these kind of fibers now the, the what is the different between the uh, difference between the step index fiber and the graded index fiber as its name indicate the refractive index of the core here is uniform either is here is not uniform and light is basically zigzag manner but here is moving in a helical shape so there is we are two difference here is distortion is more in single single index fiber or you can say single index optical fiber is a graded index if you talk about this person is low numerical aperture in in case of a single index is large here numerical aperture is okay so uh, this is the classification of uh, the optical fiber and the, the difference between uh, the of different different kind of there may be many questions from this so in the next uh, lecture we will see the other topic of this unit and we will do uh, the some derivations some numericals also thank you